Michael, congratulations. It's a win here at the World Grand Prix. Stunning first set, set, set the tempo and done all the damage. Yeah, when I walked off, it seems like 109. I'd already missed, was it, I hit it with my sixth. So it could be about 115, 116, but uh, just to get me for third win in 13 years, it, it was good. Um, it's the first time in 13 years I've actually packed for more than one day. <laughs> and you can see I, I wanted to come and say, I want to play well, I want to win this event. And first time I've been in the right place to do it as well. You touched on your, your record here. Is that something that plays on your mind before the first round game? Of course it does. <laughs> Everywhere you go, if you've not been playing well, wherever you go, it sticks there. Same as in football, if you travel to a stadium that you can't win in, it's, it's always there. And the Grand Prix is one for me. Even though it's going to Dublin or coming to Leicester, it's just it's the Grand Prix. It's just a, a dodgy toilet for me. So, Can you take so much confidence from this win there, though? The format goes up and hopefully you'll come into your own? Uh, I don't know, because I've only ever done it twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just confident in myself. I know I've, I've not had the best of years this year. I've just... I wanted to be myself, I wanted to celebrate that what I've done, I wanted to take time off, I wanted to go on holiday and I didn't practice. And for the last four or five weeks I've been putting the work in and it's not quite showing yet, but on the stage tonight it showed what I've been trying to work on and it coming to effect when I needed it to tonight. And hopefully I've got a day off tomorrow, I can put another three or four hours in and it comes in even better on Wednesday. On that hard work, obviously this is the time of the year where it gets busy and Alexandra Palace is on the hill and we saw your social post handing the, the trophy back. I'm guessing you didn't like that and you want to get that back. I, I seen Gezi's were saying I'm coming for you and I was going to put the same thing with my trophy but I was, I was going to say I'm coming for you but it's not a trophy, I'm just coming for the Michael Smith for 2022 and everyone knows what I was doing in 2020. I was winning tournaments, I was making the five major finals that year and that's, that's what I want to come back to. And, I've never felt the experience after winning the Worlds and I've done it the wrong way this year and now I finally realised when I lost to Barney last week in Holland it really kicked me over the, over the backside and I hate losing to him and it's given me that little push that I need now and straight back on the board and yeah, everything's going fine now. I remember speaking to you after you won the Worlds and you were, it was like, right, this is a new feeling. How do you think you've dealt with the pressure of being world champion? I, felt I've, I think I've dealt with it great. Um, I've not done anything wrong. You can ask Dave yeah. or Matt or anything. I think I've done everything right. I've not. I, I know I swear a lot of Dave, <laughs> but <laughs> I still do what my commitments are. I still do all my mediums. So I think I've dealt really well with it. It's just the only thing that I didn't deal well with is trying to. I don't know because I'm trying to enjoy my life with it and trying to take time away at the same time. And I've, I've kind of balanced the enjoyment bit instead of work. That's a bad thing where I should have been doing both at the same time and yeah I've learned a lesson this year and hopefully next year when I win it again I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to work my butt off but I'm also going to enjoy it at the same time even though I'm going to put the hours in. Michael, pleasure is always that, thank, thank you. Thank you very much mate, cheers. Michael, have you learned a lot from the experience of being world champion and the different sort of pressures it brings? Yeah, I've learned bad things about myself, I've learned good things about myself and I've learned things that I really need to get a grasp of mm. quick. Um, the bad things is, like I just said in the last one, is part, like having fun. And everyone wants to have fun. The good things is being a world champion. Things that I need to grasp is I need to balance it perfect. I never had the balance right, but yeah. My first time, the second time, I don't know I'll be perfect. Everyone makes a mistake. Once you made one mistake, you rectify that then. And I know next year when I get it again, it's just rectifying that thing then. Where do you think the game is at the moment? Obviously, you switched the the shot darts a few months back. Where do you feel like how you play? Oh, it's got nothing to do with darts. Mm. It's, literally, I see it on social media every day. Go back to your old darts. Go back to your old darts. It's got nothing to do with it. It's me. It's not practicing for six months. Like literally using a TV tournament for a practice session or a pro tour for a practice session, okay. and having Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. That's not good enough. I've I've based myself my whole career doing three to five, six hours a day, every single day, no matter what. And it was this year, I just shied away from it, I just wanted to enjoy myself. That's the biggest regret I've got, being world champion, and no, it's got nothing to do with that. You're getting back to that practice now then? Yeah, the last, since Barney beat me in, I was doing it the week before, but when Barney beat me in the World Series finals, mm. I made a promise back in 2015 that he'd never beat me again, and he finally did, and he gave me that wake-up call that I needed because even though I played really bad in that, 
you still shouldn't have beaten me. And he was one of them, if I could find that little extra gear that I could have had, I would have won the game easy and that's what I, what I needed. And yeah, got home the day after and I was straight back on the board again. Even though it was my birthday, I just <laughs> went back home, got three hours in the board and then I celebrated the birthday with me and Casper as well. So if we see the best Michael Smith this tournament and towards the back end of the year, we've got Roman Van Barneveld to thank, have we? Yeah, probably, yeah. Because <laughs> they, he gave me the work call that I needed. Okay, cheers, Mike. Thank you very much. Michael, do you feel a performance like that tonight can really set you up to, to stop the rot in this World Grand Prix? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say yes. I'm not going to sit here and say no. I played well for once here. I think that I think that was the first time in 13 years I've actually won the first set as well. So <laughs> it, it's a big thing that I needed to do and finally got the win, but it happens. I'm going to say I'm going to smash the next game and then the next game. I'm just happy to be in the second round. and I'm happy to have a day off because normally... I'm normally driving home now and getting in bed to take the kids to school the day after. That's normally what my job is at the Grand Prix. <laughs> so to be in the second round and uh, to be able to prepare proper for another game, and yeah, I'm really overjoyed with this. I'm over the moon with the win tonight. You mentioned about giving, having to give the World Championship trophy back. Is that when reality really sets in that it's, the countdown's on now to entitle oh, the fence? I was going to buy it and then I'm going to wait after the world. So if I win it again, I get another, again for another 10 months. If I don't win it, give me, that will be the wake-up call because I'm going to be a, a former. I don't want to be a former. I just want to be the reigning world champion. And that's going to be the big wake-up call if I don't win it this year. And if I don't, I think I've proved it since I was, what, 19 when I first came to the PDC. I'll always fight for what I want and I will get it again. Thank you. Michael, this year you've won titles on the floor of the Euro Tour and the World Series. What do you make of your performances this year as world champion? Uh, not very good. <laughs> no, I think every year that I played darts, I want to do my own mini Grand Slam. And you, you said the World Series, a European, a Pro Tour, and a TV title. I won all them, but luckily enough, we've got f uh, f five TV titles left. So I need one of them now, and I've, do I've done my own little mini Grand Slam. And if I did that every single year, I'm happy. But this year has been a bit under par. But no way, you can always shoot a, uh, in golf, you can always shoot a birder, get yourself back under par, and that's all. Today was one of them, and it gives that confidence that you need now to push forward. I know you've mentioned in the past that when you practice, you focus a lot on your scoring. Does that change a little bit approaching this tournament with the double in format? I think I said to you before, didn't I? Like my, my, my doubles in the last six, seven weeks have been 40, 50, 60% in all the tournaments I'm playing. My scoring, my scoring's not been there. But this is, a, this is a format where you need to hit doubles, not only to start but to finish as well. And it, it, the scoring wasn't the first set it was, but the second set it was just one travel visit, but I was hitting doubles straight away. And I think out of eight legs or nine legs that it went, I need failed once in three darts. And that was the main key. The doubles have been a massive part of what I've been working on because I've always struggled with them. But everyone knows if that first start was in the treble, I'm going to be a 180 every time or 140. And it's a different game then. You mentioned that you've been disappointed with how you've prepared for certain events this year. What will you change moving forward next year to, to right those wrongs? I already changed it four weeks ago. It's getting back, it's getting me, I don't know if it's swear, but it's getting me ass out of bed. It's just stop being lazy and stop, just get back on the practice board. And I know I don't need practice. I can go up there and I can average 90 or 93, 94, which is not good enough in the PC. That's what I'll practice. But if I put the two, three, four, five hours in there, that's when I start averaging 102, 103, and sometimes 110 pluses, and that's what I need. I need that self belief on the practice board, because if I'm throwing, a, throwing for a double without practicing, in the back of my mind, when I've not thrown that before, month, I'm going to miss it. I just need that little self belief again, and tonight might help that. Michael Bardo, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.